government was giving away millions of acres of land in the West and the Midwest, which meant that it was willing to undergird its white peasants from Europe with an economic floor. But not only did they give the land, they built land-grant colleges with government money to teach them how to farm. Not only that, they provided county agents further their expertise in farming. Not only that, they provided low interest rates in order that they could mechanize their farm. Not only that, today many of these people are receiving millions of dollars in federal subsidies not to farm, and they are the very people telling the black man that he ought to lift himself by his own bootstraps. And this is what we are faced with, and this is a reality. Now, when we come to Washington, in this campaign, we are coming to get our check. You. Where the fuck did your little black ass come from? Huh? You think you and some old voodoo bitch could scare me out of my house? I don't care how many slaves died here. I don't have to even kill them. But you get no reparations. You hear me? No reparations! How white folks got so rich. The untold story of American white supremacy. I mean, I, I, just, I just read about the Indian land grab. And I'm like, oh my gosh, man. Good Lord. No wonder we don't want to teach the truth. No wonder we don't want to teach the truth. Because that means we've got to look people in the face and say, our forefathers were the worst people in the history of mankind. The things that they did, that manifest destiny, that kind of mentality, has been atrocious what we have done what we have done to the African Americans the estimated number of wealth that came from slavery from free labor and that's what it was 